John Burley here, welcome. Hey, I'm asked all the time, what's the Burley model? So the Burley model is reverse engineered. The idea is, and you know, I really got this thought process from a dear friend of mine who passed away back in 14, and that was Zig Ziglar. And if you were fortunate enough and blessed enough to have ever met Zig or been his friend or even just seen him speak one time, he was a shining light. I mean, he was a beacon. He was what people should be who speak. He's one of the very, very few speakers, and I've known almost all the huge ones. He was one of the very few that who you saw on the stage was authentically who he was off the stage. He was an amazing man, a great mentor to me. And he used to always say, if you can help, there's a lot of zigisms out there, but my favorite zigism, the one he used to always say, is if you help enough other people get what they want, you'll get everything you want. All of my life, since I got in this game, somewhere between 35 to 40 plus percent of Americans don't own their own home. Now, America's like any other free country. The American dream is to own your own home. And the government, you know, they give lip service to this. We want everybody to own. We want to help everybody. The banks do it. But then they pass things in 14 like Dodd-Frank, which literally was designed specifically, intentionally, and deliberately to reduce home ownership. And that's not politics. That's fact. I was on the panel when they made the statement. Look, we reverse engineered a model. So the Burley model, the first step is we give a family ownership. We either do it through a 30-year installment contract, contract for deed, agreement for sale, 30 years fully amortizing. And unlike most people out there, I, I'm a compliance guy because I come from securities. So in securities, even if you dot your I's, cross your T's, have no complaints and did nothing wrong, every year or two, someone from a government agency comes in. It's not a warrant. They have a request for information, and you cooperate, and you spend fifty to $100,000, and that was you know years ago, fifty to $100,000 in legal and accounting to get them all their information to show that you had done nothing wrong, which is what you had done, nothing wrong. So I dot my I's and cross my T's. So we're in compliance with Dodd-Frank 100%. We even at our events in the packages, we even give you the stuff you need for your policies and procedures manual to show you're in compliance. And so we dot the I's, cross the T's. So our end result was either through 30-year installment contracts or a 10-year or longer option. Give people ownership. Give them ownership. Take care of the resident. Almost everybody I hear teaching is, I mean, they use the word tenant in a derogatory term. They treat their tenants like crud. It's an entirely an adversary relationship, and they wonder why they get adversary back. We changed that entirely with my private equity company going back to 1989. We give them ownership, even if they decide not to, to buy, which some people don't. They have at least 10 years to live there. Imagine what that's like for the mom and the dad and the kids. She gets to stay in the neighborhood for at least 10 years with her kids. They don't have to change schools. Her support group, her friends, her family, they're all there. Exactly what every family wants. You got to earn it. No one's entitled to it. You got to earn it, but we give that to them. So we give them home ownership. We give them a locked-in price and an ability to buy in a very, very fair manner. So my resident wins. The next thing is with my capital investors. What I do is I provide for them the emotional needs and the factual business needs that they need. Things like safety and security and long-term and cash flow and tax benefits and, and a rate of return that's good. And then capital growth over the long run. Very, very important that they're taken care of. But the resident first. And then if I take care of the resident and they stay and they pay and since they're buying and not renting, they take care of the house themselves, which means I don't have all that money going out for property management and repairs. I don't have all that turnover. I get a premium on the monthly and they own it. So Zig said it best. You help enough other people get what they want, you'll get what you want. So the Burley model in short, help a family own a home. Myself personally, I've given 2,200 families a home that they paid off and received the deed, meaning they own it. My students have helped millions of families across this country and the world own a home. One company, a closing company, did 42,000 separate deals for my students. One company has done 42,000 burly deals, and that's 42,000 families that moved on the path of home ownership. We give them the ownership that the banks won't do. It's a very specific model, but that's the first step. Second part, have a capital investor put up all the money or the down payments and sign for the loans, and you receive a placement fee of $10,000 per house. So first step, help a family own a home. Second step, help a capital investor 
have a great rate of return and all the things they want while you receive a placement step. And the third step is you learn, taught in our model, exactly how to manage that, how to acquire it, how to raise the funds, how to put the family in properly, how to dot the I's, cross the T's, and set it up so that it's not just a win-win, but it's a win the resident, win the investor, and win us. And that's how the Burley model works. This is John Burley. I hope you enjoyed it. Check us out on the YouTube channel. Also, you can join me at john.burley on Instagram and John Burley Real Estate Investing on Facebook. There's a link for johnburley.com. Click that, go there, find out about our upcoming events, and we've got some very exciting free downloads for you there. Thank you, and God bless.